Okay, g'day. Dan Jones, The Boat Brokerage. We're on the Nimbus 402. Um, I'm coming to you from where you would probably rather be. Uh, beautiful, manly. Uh, I was worried about some of the swell out there, but we found a nice little spot tucked in close to the shore and it's, um, it's, it's reasonably calm, but if there are a few waves uh, rolling through, we could get the odd big one, big one which could make the boat rock. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna give you a walkthrough. I'm here with my mate Mark today. He's just chilling. He's uh, Mark just very kindly helped us out with the uh, test drive. He was driving whilst I was flying, so that's a secret to getting those shots for you. Uh, but yeah, this is this is an amazing family boat. Um, as I mentioned in the test drive, um, Nimbus, built in Sweden, they're kind of like the Riviera of Sweden. That they are very high quality. It's a boat that you would buy and keep for a lifetime or a good chunk of that and it's going to serve you very well. Um, the, the, the level of fit and finish and the standard that they keep is just that step up um, compared to some of your more high capacity production builders. Um, so anyway, this is the walkthrough. I'm going to fold this thing me bob so I can turn around and actually show you what we're looking at. Starting on the back of the boat, um, as you'll see we've got this big stainless, st stainless steel setup. So there is um, a tender which comes with the boat. We've taken it off for the photo shoot, but those are the, the dinghy chocks just there and the tender comes up on a davit system. Um, but when we're in this mode, we can obviously mount the barbecue on either side. We've got some rod holders and then facility for hanging a, um, a gas bottle. Um, and the, the swim ladder is a nice big three, four step swim ladder which folds down. It's got the grab holds uh, in the middle of the boat. Um, then on either side, we've got storage. So just here, this is a good place. There you go, we've got a little bit of cleaning gear in there. It's quite deep. We've got the same on the other side. A lot of people will put um, fins and snorkels and that sort of stuff in these and they just drain straight into the ocean below. You can see the hidden number just there. She's a 2008 model and this is a typical Nimbus feature just here. Whilst it's styling, which wraps around to the side of the boat, you've got the engine intakes there. It also has a practical feature, so it's fender storage just there and there. Um, we've got pop-up cleats, stainless steel, lots of stainless on this boat as we move our way around. Um, it's full teak cockpit, but no teak up on the foredeck, which is, which is quite sensible for an Australian boat. Um, we've got the fender holders just on port as well. Hot and cold shower pulls out there and then uh, what's this one this is for your flagpole just here um, I'll give you a look at the cockpit as you can see the the u-shaped what do you call that u-shaped I don't know half u shaped seating out the back that's probably good for two blokes mark size maybe three blokes my size but it will actually that's what I'm trying to say it will actually turn into a u because if you just look at me back here, these sides pop up like so, okay? And then there's some cushions downstairs and they will actually close up the transom and, and uh, then you've got more seating. And there's also another table which sits on both of these little coffee tables and it's got rubbers and it's designed to sit and bridge the gap. So you have one big lunch table and it's stored downstairs, we'll see that. Uh, in a second. Um, this stainless steel uh, setup here, these are actually gates, so they're not on hinges, you've got to lift them and then place them into the holes just there and there. So you can enclose the transom. If you're at sea and you needed the whole kitty dog door protection, you've got that. But bearing in mind for a normal day-to-day -day usage, you've already got the stainless setup at the back there. So it's got that element of safety sort of built in already. Um, I'm not going to show you, we'll cut to a shot of this. This is actually a huge aft lazarette locker. So the generator is down there, access to the autopilot, uh, or, or sorry, the, the steering setup, and uh, just lots and lots of storage um, down there. Then we've got these beautiful timber lunch tables, picnic tables, whatever you want to call them. And underneath all of these seats, there is storage and they do have covers on them so you don't have to pull the cushions inside so each one has a little custom cover including the table um, so we saw one cleat out the back we actually have two aft proper boat cleats on either corner we've got these grab rails 
going all the way around the boat. And uh, what we're going to do, we'll go through the middle of the boat before we, before we cover the deck and then go downstairs. Um, quite a lot to talk about. Um, the protection from the weather is, a, is great on these boats. Like we, we have this aft sun bimini, which is just permanently set up like this. And then the fiberglass here. So you do have shade out to here. So if you're on the back seat where Mark is, you're going to be in and out of shade, but if you're forward of that, you're going to be in the shade. And I guess you got a little bit of protection from rain as well. Um, lots of stainless steel grab rails around the boat. We've got a TV there, a beautiful timber boat hook in its own mount just there, and these three sliding doors. Now I've, I've slid them all the way across to starboard, and they're designed to do that deliberately because you're your galley is on starboard, which, which provides a little bit of hindrance to access on that side anyway, but you don't have to open all three doors like that. You can actually just slide the middle door and then you can have glass on one side, glass on the other, and just um, go in and out through the middle. Um, before we get there, again, I'm gonna cut to shots of this. These two hatches here and here is the engine access. So just you're straight over the engines, um, your big V-drive shaft, uh, Volvo uh, D6370s and so that's accessible from here really really easy to get to uh, so here we go welcome to the saloon this this is a sensible use of space for a boat that's 42 feet long and it's got lots of functional little aspects to it from a um, from an operational and from a social perspective oh sorry I'm just folding my little camera thing there so I can have a bit more access. So what do I mean by that? From a functional operational perspective, door, door. So that's super handy. From a comfort perspective, well, it's air conditioned, um, but you've got opening skylight, another opening skylight. So the, the blinds over them, as you can see, are drooping. Couple of little imperfections with this boat and I'll cover them at the end of the video. Um, but you can get airflow, 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 and accessing the side decks is just awesome on this boat. Um, this seat here, we're currently set up in the driving mode. So we have this seat facing forward, but it also, through a, a clever little piece of stainless design, will just flip and face aft, like the old Sydney trains. Um, same thing. So it, when you're in social mode, that can f uh, turn into one big L-shaped seating, and then this can flip up. You can get another seat around this side and everyone can sit around the inside table. So you can do outside dining or inside dining or a mixture of both. Now this table here, it's on a telescopic leg. So that will then turn into the coffee table slash bed set up if you if you want it um, now below me is another opening hatch just here great place to store your store your safety gear your safety grab bag just um easy to access as you exit the boat should you need it um, the galley itself we got all these high quality little catches here nimbus are really good for their branded cutlery and plates and bowls and all that sort of stuff so it's got all that got an electric fridge just in here fridge freezer got a built-in cutting board into the table a place for all your salts and peppers and knickknacks this is your this folds up and you've got your um uh what's that a two burner stove and oven uh, i don't know what that brand's called uh a place for pots and pans in there and this should be another little pantry oh no that's right it's for all the lovely glasses isn't that neat? Um, up above, a little bit more storage. Another TV. Um, is this one on a swivel? Can't remember. I should know. I've sold this boat before. Yes, it is. The sink, stainless steel, um, twin sink just here, hot and cold water. We've got some power, 12 volt and 240 just there. So just giving you another look around. And now we can focus our attention on the helm. We've got one little storage, good place, that's stereo and some safety gear under the helm. And the helm seat itself has got the two flip up bolsters, 
one, two, so they're individually operated. And then, something I always like to see, little short man step, which folds out from just there. And then you operate it by pulling the bottom just there, and that will also flip up like that. Look, he's nice. This is all, it's all done in Sweden, isn't that great? Um, so the helm, it's got a beautiful custom Nimbus wheel. So you've got stainless um, uh, and then pol highly polished timber wheel itself. Um, you've got all your boat systems from your lights, blower fan, horn, uh, bilge, um, bilge pumps, wipers, all individually operated. So you've got three wipers uh, on the screen there. A wash system, trim tabs, electric operation for the sunroof. Uh, bow thruster on and off and then windless operation from here as well there's the bow thruster there's the electronic management system fire boy just there just there road counter and chart plotter so c120 and then all our analog displays here the compass is buggered but it, uh, it has one who uses compasses these days anyway so this is your chart storage which we've got some knickknacks in there just now and you've got drink holders dotted around i uh, one thing i will say these drink holders they're not going to be good for any real big beers or anything just a can or a slim like peroni type bottle is going to fit in there or a coffee cup not uh no no big huge ones um, this is a good storage area for your phones tablets that sort of thing just there um, and then we've got beautiful blinds which go around either side the back of the boat if you want to privacy at the marina on either side and we can see our VHF, our uh, inverter charger, and our generator operation just there. So come with me downstairs. Um, because it is a V-drive shaft, it allows us to get a beautiful interior. And this interior is lovely. So it's carrying this timber theme all the way through the boat. We've got um, leatherettes, I would assume, finishing up on the ceiling just here, and then some fiberglass. We've got blinds on every window, and they open one, two, three. This is the master. And then we've got some reading lights, some down lights, and another opening hatch just there. So you've got four opening hatches down here, and air conditioning. So, yeah, it's a really livable space, this one. I like to see, it's a very yachty, you know, it's ventilated uh, cupboards. So, you know, your wet clothes have got a, got an opportunity to, to vent um, so things don't go too moldy. And then you've got some nice Nimbus branded holders in there, some shelves just there, and then same again on the other side. So, same again. So, it's just really high quality stuff. You've got stairs on either side of the bed. And, and what's the advantage of that? Um, this layout of bed for a couple, if someone needs to get up in the night to go for a pee, you, know, you can get out, get out of the bed and not disturb the other person, as opposed to those offset beds where the person in the corner is kind of stuck. Um, here's a good drawer for putting other bits and pieces. You can see they've got some pots and pans in this one and another one just here. So, that all works. And being the master, you've got your own head. So check this out. So that's an electric macerator with a holding tank and then your own separate shower with the closing door. So that's, that's great. You know, you come and you've got your own private area. Look how nice the stainless steel sink is and how well finished it is. And then you've still got these teak slats on the floor. That's, that's just really wonderful for a family boat to be able to come and get out of it all and close this door here, which would be your door into the cabin. And then you've got everything you need, including a little mirror and some hanging areas for your clothes and towels. So that's great. So then you come out into the companionway and you've got port cabin and starboard cabin, but I'm not gonna go into either of those, I'm gonna go into the day head. So this is forward of both cabins to starboard in the opposite location to what the, the master head would be. It has a shower, but it's, it's a combined toilet shower now. So we've got that electric macerator head, we've got the timber floor, we've got 
some trim on the roof. Um, we do still have a window, an opening window on this one. And look, here we've got little toothbrush holders and isn't that cute? Um, nice sink and all that stuff. A little bit of storage there for your shampoos and bits and pieces. But you, you've got the you've got this, what do you call this, the shower curtain, that which goes around the roof here. So if you were having a shower, uh, you don't get all that timber wet because you use this curtain and then you can prop the tap. The tap pulls out of there and props up on here and then this becomes the wet area. So a little bit of fiddling around, but hey, uh, you're not the boat owner, so you don't deserve the nice toilet. So there you go, a little slide door just there. Good use of space. So. That then brings me to the guest cabins. We are in the starboard guest cabin now. You've got a little seat just here where you can sit down, get changed. You've got a nice big locker, hanging locker. You can see some of the venting for the air conditioning because this cabin is air conditioned. And just showing you, so I'm, I'm 5'7". So there's, there's probably six foot of headroom in this cabin standing up. So, and yeah, decent amount of space you, you're not going to be struggling because if you were getting chained you'd have all this space here and you've got hanging points just here and here um, little thing to uh, keep the door open and then this bed itself I didn't open the blinds because the sun's quite strong I'm hoping you got enough light just with the uh, the boat lights they're all LEDs so this is the table that I was uh, telling you about so it's nice and varnished on that side and this sits over the top of those two lunch tables uh, out the back there and you'd basically just store it down here when you're not in use when it's not in use but this cabin here it's a huge big double I'll try and move this out of the way so you get a feel huge big double and this middle section pulls out and you've got two singles forward and aft singles so this cabin you know, it's great for an adult couple and it would be perfect for two, maybe three kids, to be honest. Those are the cushions which infill out the back to complete that U-shaped seating. Um, another opening window there and an opening window there. So you can have vent natural ventilation, air conditioning, um, you choose. You've got two 40 volt points to charge your phones. Nice ledge here for putting bits and pieces. Obviously, we've got some bedding on it there at the moment. And uh, these are your light switches. And there you go. So straight across to the port side. Now the port side um, is a little bit smaller. So this is more like a double size and it really would just be for a couple or probably the kids cabin, whereas mum and dad can have the other one because it's, it's huge. Two kids would be fine in this cabin. And what's happening um, on the starboard side, it's offset. So it comes across the centre line to take up more space and give you a bigger berth. And on the port side, it's just a regular size berth, which is still very, very comfortable and capable for, for a couple, uh, an adult couple even. And there you go. Air conditioning, as you can see. Hanging storage, that's the flagpole just stored in there, which would sit on the back of the boat when you're out going for a cruise. And smaller ledge just up here. We've still got hanging for towels and bits and pieces. And so there you go. Alrighty, uh, that's the downstairs. Come with me and we'll just walk around the decks. And I think that's gonna be everything. So I just love these side opening doors. You can see the gunnels are nice and high. A, a theme, a lot of these Scando boats, they love their, their rubber uh, rub rails going all the way around the boat. So as you can see, this one's completely protected. If you had poles at your house and you reversed in and got off at the transom, um, you could just bang into the poles, no worries. You're not going to do any damage with a, a rub rail that size. Um, the other thing, hopefully you could see, so it, the height of this, uh, of this rail is up to my waist. I'm 5'7", so even tall people are still gonna feel quite secure. And you have this, this handhold just here to give you uh, something else to hold on to. So, so, so this is definitely, um, in my opinion, like a safe kid boat um, and, uh, and a safe grandma, granddad boat. You're not gonna be worried about them coming forward when the boat's moving. Because if you can see me now, I'm, I'm really sort of locked in just there. Um, so even if, even if a wave caught me out, caught me off guard, I'm just gonna hit this rail just here. So coming forward, um, Here's the sunbaking zone. So 
There is no Sun Lounge that I'm aware of, but you could easily get one fashioned up for this area and made uh, custom made locally. Uh, that'll be totally doable. And, and yeah, that'll be a Sun Lounge for two adults, no problems. Um, you've got your anchor set up, so you can operate it from the bow, but it is also operational from the helm. And there you go, Lumar windlass, gal chain, down she goes. And you've got the quick release there as well bit of stainless setup and another very common scando thing is having the opening bow like this so you can step out uh, if you're boarding people from the bow so that's that's kind of cool two cleats up on the front uh, that is a stainless steel anchor going to gal chain and then looking back let's have a look at the roof it's it is a um, equally proportioned cabin so it's not offset both sides port and starboard you have an equal amount of space and the other thing i didn't point out those side gates just opening there and there gives you another place to access the boat stainless steel features just here and here and nice roof like you know you could even you could even get a bit bit creative and do a stainless setup and do some roof racks if that was your your thing alternatively just throw a few towels up there and don't operate the roof when you're doing this and strap some boards down um, using some straps and keep it simple uh, that that'd do you for the holidays um, anyway on your mast you got your omni omnidirectional tv antenna don't know if that's still in use because who watches tv anymore everyone's doing it on the internet but there you go um, air horns gps nav light vhf facility for a radar on the bottom base of the stainless mast and then you can just see after that the stainless supports which are top supports which support the bimini uh, and then both tracks for the electric roof openings um, an extra cleat just been mounted on starboard that's uh, just because the owners tied this boat up on a starboard finger and then as we come down the starboard side um, you can see things like i'm pretty sure that's there you go that's waste out um, and we've got diesel in on this side it should be two tanks on this boat and diesel in on that side and then water in so water waste on starboard diesel diesel on either side for the two tanks um, i think i'm done i don't think there's any more to show you so yeah if that's you if that's you looking for a family boat looking for a capable boat looking for a boat that's going to um, perhaps go the distance with you um, you know the the Riviera of Sweden I like to call it give us a call follow the link in the description my name's Dan Jones this has been the boat brokerage thanks for coming along see you next time okay I said I told I said I would tell you about the imperfections on this boat and there are just a couple little ones something that you get of a 2008 boat a um, couple of the bolts there a little bit loose so just be aware of that um, coming inside some damage water damage I think the fridge is leaking and some impact damage on the floor itself in various spots one of those things you could fix it or you could forget about it both of these both of these blinds have been replaced at one point and they are sagging again so you could probably do with some new blinds and there appears to be a slow leak dripping and then getting on the carpet because the carpet was wet this morning coming through the rubber seal of the um uh, of the opening sunroof finally a couple a couple more things compass is buggered the timber work here it's just caught too much aussie sun a lot of people uh, whilst you could just get it redone a lot of people are just covering these with timber wraps these days a very common thing in australia most boats because our sun's our sun um, the hull well you see that in the drone shoot um, it was due for an anti-foul the owners have booked it in it's just hard to book stuff in at the moment so i'm just gonna show you there uh, they weren't able to get their regular schedule so it's overdue and it needs a polish and the windscreen wipers are showing a bit of age so they're probably going to need some some attention or replacement um, i'm sure there's more things it's a boat you'd have to get a survey 
I don't know um, everything when I see these boats. It drove beautifully and so far I've been really impressed. Um, but you know, just thought I'd be straight up with you that there are a few imperfections.